focus on me I'm the star okay hey y'all so today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my July favorites um, I know I haven't made a video in a while and I I've been a little MIA but I have good reason I have a good excuse guys this month I've been running a lot um, just because I wanted to get in shape for cross country this is the first time I'm going to be doing cross country just because I usually do volleyball but I'm gonna be coaching volleyball so I don't want to like overload on volleyball just get started with my favorites of course my first favorite is that I've been running um, Ooh, I have another great second favorite. I got a letter. If I can reach it. So I got a letter from a high school saying that um, last year I lettered in academics. So, um, yeah, that was kind of exciting at the time. So one of my first favorites this month is this Ole Professional Cleansing Brush thing. I kind of got this a long time ago. It has two speeds. So... You just turn it on and it rotates just like that. Here is the slow setting. And then it has a faster setting. I've always wanted to get the Clarisonic, but this was $29 and the Clarisonic is like $130. So that was kind of a no-brainer for me. Um, I'm not saying that this is a dupe for the Clarisonic. But it exfoliates your face just as well. So I've also been loving this Too Faced Primed and Poreless Skin Smoothing Face Primer. Looks like this. You put this on before foundation and it smooths right over your pores and just makes your skin look flawless. Even though this is kind of pricey, I think that it's a really good product. And if you do have problems with pores and you want to fill them in, then this would be a good product to consider purchasing. The next little thing I want to mention is this Kula Mineral Sunscreen. Um, it's a tinted moisturizer. Um, I got this in my July Ipsy bag. So I always put this on my face before I go to cross country. It doesn't have a lot of coverage really, but it just helps me so my face doesn't get all sunburned. It's not so much a favorite, but just a useful product this month. So the next product is this Wet n Wild Mega Glow Illuminating Powder. And this is in, let's see, what is this in? Starlight Bronze. See, here's that champagne -y peach color that's at the top. There is the dark brown. Kind of has a sheen to it. There is the bronze. And there is the lighter brown color. So even though this isn't a matte contour, I still like the way it looks on my skin. And actually, this is the brush that I used to bronze with. And it's the Expert Face Brush by Real Techniques, as you can tell I used it this morning. I just swirled this around and put it in the hollows. Oh my gosh, it got really dark. And I put this in the hollows of my cheek. The next thing I'm going to be talking about is this e.l.f. Small Stipple Brush. And all the bristles are different sizes. And I've been using this brush to put on my foundation with so... Um, ooh, I might as well show you the foundation that I've been using of NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. Usually I only have to use like what's in the cap because a little bit goes a long way. And this just has the right amount of coverage for me. Dot the foundation on my face, you know, where I usually do, and then I just blend it out using circular motions with this brush. And I think that when you use this brush, it kind of looks airbrush. So the last two face products are this Beauty Blender dupe that I got at Ulta and this e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set. Um, I'm not going to explain too much about these because I'm going to make a separate video. I'm not going to say too much about what it's going to be about, but it's going to be a tips video because I found something very useful with these two products, so stay tuned for that. Oh wait, I had something else too. Um, this e.l.f. High Definition Under Eye Setting Powder. It's a really loose, fine powder. And the reason why I love this powder for setting my under eye concealer is because I feel like it kind of blurs any cakiness that you have and it makes your under eye concealer last a really long time. Check this out, it's not too expensive. Um, it's in most Target stores too, so $3, pretty good deal. Try to get you some. Next, this is my go-to palette for eyeshadow. This is Nude Awakening by Wet n Wild. First of all, I really like this packaging, it's really cute. Second, it has a bunch of nice neutral colors. 
There are a lot of looks that you can do with this one palette and it's filled with a bunch of neutral colors so you really can't go wrong with getting this palette. It's just a really good deal. $4.99 getting a bunch of good quality eyeshadows so get it. I have three lip products that I use for one lip combo. Um, I've been really liking wearing baby pink nude lips. Um, I don't know why I'm doing all these weird hand gestures, but I will just show you these lip products. This is in Cupcake. This is a really nice light pink color. And then the next lipstick that I use on top of it is called Gumdrop. It's another Revlon lip butter. So this is a more lilac pink color. And to top it all off, you know, you have to put the icing on the cake and the lip gloss on the lipstick. XXXL Shine Lip Gloss. And this is in Nude Candy. So this is supposedly a dupe for NARS Turkish Delight. I'm not really sure, but I really do like this color. This here is Cupcake. And here's Gumdrop. The last beauty related thingy mabob is... Um, coconut oil. Here's what that looks like. I'm not gonna say too much about this either because I'm going to be making another tips video with this featured as the main thing. So next we're moving on to fashion related items which I'm not a very fashionable person but I do like some accessories and stuff this month so I'll just show you them. The first thing is this headband that I'm wearing. It's kind of like oh gee, Greek-esque if that's a word. Also, this headband, which is also Greek-esque. I don't know how else to describe them. Next thing is this shirt. It's... Okay, it's the wrong way. Hold on. I like birdies and flowers, so I've been wearing this a lot. For random favorites. This is some trail mix that I've been loving. This is Wild Roots 100% Natural Trail Mix. And it's a coastal berry blend. So it has cashews, almonds, cranberries, yogurt chips, wild blueberries, all this other good stuff. And another snack is cheese. Colby Jack cheese. Very, very good. Good. So I know I kind of had a lot of favorites, but I'm just kind of trying to make up for all these days, summer days I missed filming. So I am trying to get more videos up. I'm just like really lazy. I don't want to edit, but I have a whole bunch of videos filmed. So thank you for watching my favorites and I will see you next time guys.